Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a little bit different because I will be talking about the Eurovision Song Contest. I'm a huge Eurovision fan and I thought in today's video I will be discussing the finalist of this year so we will be watching the performance and I will also share with you my top 10. So this year I did it a little bit different and normally I follow everything of the Eurovision, uh, all of the different countries but this year I wanted to be a surprise Price. So yesterday was the second semi-final and now I have seen all of the songs and also the big five in the Netherlands. So I thought we can look together to all of the finalists and also the running order they are in and decide like a top 10 of this year. And I have to say this year it is very competitive. I think a lot of countries are in it to win it. There's not like a clear winner yet and um, I think it's a very good year. A lot of great songs. So yeah, let's get started. If you are excited for this video, don't forget to give the huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm a Dutch girl and I'm living in Marmaris, Turkey and I make a lot of beauty related videos, lifestyle vlogs. And now let's get started. Very quick, for the people who don't know Eurovision, uh, you're missing out. But it started in 1956 after the Second World War. And it's basically all European countries uh, competing in a big song contest. And this year it is held in Rotterdam in the Netherlands in my home country. And I'm so proud of Duncan Lawrence um, that he won after many many years. So yeah let's have a look to the finalists and the running order of this year. And because I don't want to get copyrighted I will be talking uh, well they are singing if you would like to see the running order and all of the finalists i will put a link down below so you can listen to them without me talking uh, through it so let's get started okay so opening the show is cypress this year and i do think it's a great song and a great performance with the dancers and all of that um I think she's very energetic and yeah, I do really like um, that they opened the show. So yeah, really good song this year. And then we have Albania and I do like Albania a lot this year. Um, I feel a little bit sad for them that they are again in the um, second, how do you call it? Like that they are second to perform. Um, because it's not the best spot to be in. I love her outfit and I love that she's singing in her own language a lot. Then we have Israel and again a great song to dance on. Um, I think she sings also really well. Like she hits that high notes and I really love the act as well. It's again very energetic. And a lot of dance songs this year, which, yeah, I think it's great. And then we have Belgium. And to be really honest with you, not my favorite. I think uh, they are great, like, quality bands. And you can see that they have a lot of experience. Um, but to be really honest, it's not, like, my favorite song of this year. But, yeah, a great effort. And then Russia. I love Russia this year. I think it's so powerful and I love like her statement of uh, woman empowering. And yeah, I think it's a really great song which will end up very high, I think. Yeah, really great song. Then we have Malta. I love Malta. I love um, that she also went first to the Junior Eurovision, same like Stefania, Stefania from Greece. Um, I think her voice is amazing. I mean, yeah, she will definitely end up very high and I love the act. Although it reminds me a bit of Toy from Israel. Then we have Portugal and I'm so happy Portugal went through. I think they really deserved it. Um, I love his voice. Really like a nice slow song in all of the dance songs. Um, yeah, I think it's very deserved that they went through. Then we have Hurricane Serbia. Um, I think this is like a typical Eurovision song. I think the fans, um, everyone really loves this song. I think it's great as well. Um, although I don't think it's like a very like quality song, but I, I do like it. It's, it's very Eurovision. England. So, yeah. It's not my favorite, um, but I do think he has a great voice. 
and I do like the staging as well and I hope they will do quite well I mean England doesn't do really great overall um, then we have Stefania with for Greece, but she's actually actually from the Netherlands. I think the staging is amazing. I love her outfit a lot, and the song as well. And she sang yesterday very well. She hit all of those high notes, so I really wish she end up high. And then we have my favorite Switzerland. I love Switzerland this year. Yeah, it's my favorite, I will already tell you. Um, I love the act, I love his outfit, his voice is just amazing. Yeah, it's it's my absolute favorite this year. Uh, great performance. Then we have um, Iceland. And Iceland has also a very interesting um, act this year. I do like it. It's not like in my top 10, but I do like it. I prefer their song from last year um, but yeah I do think it's nice and then we have Spain and Spain is not very high in like the betting odds for your vision but I do like it I think the staging is very beautiful and his voice is great and yeah I do hope that he will end up um, not like in the last spot then we have Moldova with sugar and yeah, this is like my guilty pleasure of this year. I love it. I love the beat. Um, I would say she's not like the best singer. But it doesn't matter because this song is like about fun. About having fun. So then we have Germany. And I think this is very funny. Um, he's very energetic. And I find it really funny that this song comes before Finland. And we have some commercials. Okay, so I do think this is like a great uh, energetic song, really fun. Um, I think it won't uh, end up really high, but it doesn't matter, it's just fun. Then right after Germany, we have like a heavy metal band. And um, although I don't like metal a lot, I do like this. Um, I think it's great that there are like two rock bands in the final. Um, that's what I really love about Eurovision, that you have so many different kind of music styles and yeah I, I do like it and then we have Bulgaria and this really reminds me like of Billie Eilish um, I think it's a great song and I love her voice a lot and the staging is just very beautiful and I think she will end up high and yeah I think it's just a great overall song and performance and then we have again one of my favorites, Lithuania. I love this so much. I think their outfits are amazing. The song overall is just so happy, a little bit 80s. I don't know. I, I just love this. I really love this. Let's go take right. I love it. And there we have Ukraine. Okay, what I'm going to say about this. It's not my cup of tea, but I appreciate it on the Eurovision. I wouldn't listen to this outside of Eurovision, but I think it's great that it's there. And I do think it will end up high. I think a lot of people will really like this because it's so different. And then we have France. And France is again one of my favorites this year. Um, it's so simplistic, but beautiful. Again, I love when a country sings in their own language. Yeah, I, I think it's a great, great song and it will deserve also to win. Yes, definitely. And then we have Azerbaijan and I love this. I love the beats. I love their outfits. I love like the little bits. It sounds also a bit Turkish because yeah, Azerbaijan and Turkey are quite like um, similar. Um, yeah, I, I really love this song. Then we have Norway, Fallen Angel, again like a really typical Eurovision song with wings and all of that and I really do um, wish him well, like that he will end up a bit high. I don't know, it's not my favorite, but I don't know, I really like the, the singer a lot. Then the Netherlands, my country, and I love this song a lot. Um, I think the staging is very beautiful and I love like the um, uh, the bridge like what you hear now like with the instrumental bits I love that really much 
Then we have Italy and I love Italy this year. Again, Rock. I think this is great. I don't know. I, I guess they have a high chance to win as well. I really love like the atmosphere. I don't know. It's it's great. I love it. We have Sweden. Um I think this is a really like great pop song that you will hear like on the radio. Is it my favorite? No. Is it really original? No. But I think a lot of juries will vote for this because it's just quality. Yeah, it's just a great song, but not super original. Then we have Senet Adrenalina. Adrenalina. Okay, that's it. With Flowrider. And I really love uh, their performance. It's a great ending to the show. And I think this might be the highest uh, San Marino will ever get in the show. Okay, so these were all the finalists of this year's Eurovision. I think this year is very competitive, like I already said. I think there are so many great songs and a few countries that I think will definitely be in the top 10 are... I think Cyprus will be in the top 10. Um, I think Russia will be there, Malta, Greece, I guess, as well. And then we have Iceland. Iceland will be in the top 10, I guess, as well. And um, let me see. Maybe Moldov Moldova, uh, Lithuania, Ukraine for sure. And then I guess also France and Switzerland. So like I already said, Switzerland is my favorite to win. I love France as well. Lithuania, although I don't think Lithuania will win. But it's also one of my favorites. And Italy. So yeah, let me know in the comments down, down below what do you think? Who is your favorite to win this year? Or tell me your top 10. I would love to hear it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a great evening. Because after an hour that I post this video, the uh, final will start. So um, yeah, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!